First of all, as we've been reporting on ABC 36, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman had a double mastectomy procedure last week. On Monday, uh, Coleman said that she had surgery after concerns following a routine physical exam. Coleman says her family has a significant history of cancer. And in a statement released yesterday, she says her post-surgery reports came back clean and early detection and prevention were the key. Coleman now encouraging others to get their checkups, saying in part, quote, if I had put this off, skipped appointments, or not taken it seriously, it is likely the news I'd be sharing that eventually would not have been so great. Mm. So she, uh, Coleman also mm. thanked people in the state for their prayers and their well wishes as well. Yeah. And as you all that watch the show might know or might remember, Jacqueline Coleman was our very first yes. guest on yes. Let's Talk Kentucky. She was a dear. We loved having her. She yes. was so much fun, high energy. What are your guys' thoughts about this? Especially, you know, I'm going to start with Susan because, Susan, you've had this situation very mm -hmm. similar um, as to Lieutenant Governor's um, yeah. situation. So what are your thoughts starting off? Well, I think when we first uh, mentioned this before, I applaud her um, yeah. for being proactive with this because I think all two times life gets busy and we start prioritizing the things that we maybe not sh should prioritize maybe a little bit less. Our yes. health should always be a top priority. And um, I have a history of breast cancer in, in my family and I have had concerns for many years starting at the age of 30 when I had a lumpectomy um, to, to remove a tumor. And, um, and then earlier this year, it was back and forth and back and forth between doctors and we made even a trip to Mayo um, because I would, you know, like to have a prophylactic mastectomy. Yeah. And um, a lot of times the insurance concerns are, are a little crazy, like, oh, I don't know if you need to or not. But listen, I'm a mother. Yes. I'm a wife. I'm a sister. I'm a daughter. There are people that I want to be around for. And I always think that, you know, we should listen to our bodies and start being proactive rather than reactive with things like this. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Something that she mentioned that I think is one of the more important things that she talked about for, for the Commonwealth, for everyone, for all women, is that if she had skipped an appointment uh -huh. or not taken it seriously things would be very different and my friend went through that she mm -hmm. skipped one year mm -hmm. one year and I believe she was in her very early 40s so she was young yes next year cancer she had to have full treatments and I wish the insurance companies would understand that that the treatment is so expensive and That's if we right. have facts that support that but another thing to think about is the insurance thing like you said listen to our bodies there's a lot of us who like to listen to our bodies but can't because we don't have insurance yes yeah. so what's really important is find that free program. You've got mm -hmm. to look for those programs. It yes. is not easy, but there are resources out there. Talk to your health care providers. Talk to social workers. Those people can help you find what you need. It is so important. We have to take our health seriously. We really Absolutely. do. And you know, you mentioned insurance too, and, mm -hmm. and a lot of times too, insurance companies will only pay for the checkup every other year. And so, you know, True. those type of those type of stipulations can can really be difficult and even dangerous for a lot of women yes. out there. So, it's but, you know, again, it's it, the onus is always on us. We have to make sure that we make the time to go do yes. these appointments. Why do we not do it? That's what I don't understand. Like I am very busy mm -hmm. and I do not follow up on a regular basis on these mammograms like I should and I and I, every time when we cover the story, I think I've got to make that appointment, mm -hmm. got to make that mm -hmm. appointment. Why do we not prioritize ourselves that's kind of my question with I think yeah. a lot of oftentimes there are so many other people that we want to prioritize with and we, as, yes. as women that's and we have to stop that nurturers. just because we're women doesn't mean we have to do that anymore yeah and, period yeah and I, I can't take care of people if I'm not healthy yeah absolutely and I think that when it comes to like insurance because mm -hmm. Lisa you and I both and, and Kim you a too with my son and all of his special needs and, and mm -hmm. medical circumstances there have been times you have to be the squeaky wheel because a squeaky wheel does get the grease mm -hmm. and as anyone who knows me very well I am the most persistent little bugger that you, you, you are the been. squeaky wheel mm -hmm. I you am are. the squeaky wheel <laughs> and mm -hmm. that's a good thing yeah, because you have to get stuff done and yeah. so just because an insurance company is kind of finagling on some things you you keep on it because find that free one yes. yeah your insurance won't pay for it one year find a free one yeah
Mm -hmm. And it takes work, and it, it takes does dedication take to do it, and, it de and it's not going to come easy. You do no, have to dig for I it. No, but I am worth yeah. it. Yes. I'm the most important person in my world, and I know that a lot of people would say, oh, Kim, you can't, you can't say that, but mm -hmm. I am. Yes. Because only I will take care of myself the way I need to be taken care of. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and, you know, watching us right now, just seeing how it's inspired us with what yes. Jacqueline has done. So um, kudos to her. Yes. We love her, and, uh, you know, nothing but... Uh, well wishes going out to Jacqueline Coleman on her yeah. healing process coming yeah. out of this. Yeah, good for you. She's a warrior, isn't mm -hmm. she? She is. I love it. I love it too. All right. Well,